In this video, we can discuss about manufacturing of parental dry solids. So, some drugs which are physically or chemically unstable, which cannot be formulated as aqueous solutions or suspension or emulsion. So, that kind of drugs are formulated as dry powders which are reconstituted by addition of sterile water for injections prior to administration to form aqueous solutions or aqueous suspension. About chela drugs as such conventional aitla parenteral solutions galo parenteral suspensions galo emulsions galo aito manufacture cheyan patla karanam adu onnillengil adinu chemically allengil physically unstable aayirikum aqueous media thile appo nammal adu dry solids galo aitana sadharana gadiyile nammal adu manufacture cheya so now let's see what are the different methods for or manufacturing of parenteral dry solids it can be done by three methods, filling the product into the vials as liquid, then freeze drying, or aseptic crystallization followed by powder filling, or spray drying followed by powder filling. So these are the three methods which are usually performed for the manufacturing of parental dry solids. Freeze drying, aseptic crystallization followed by powder filling and spray dry. Now let's see each method in detail. First one is freeze dry and or lyophilization. So this is the most common method which are used for the preparation of sterile powders. This has many advantages in this water can be removed at low temperature avoiding damage to the heat sensitive material. If Freeze drying is done properly, the dried product has a specific surface area which facilitates uh, rapid complete rehydration of the solid. From an operator point of view, freeze drying dosage form allow drug to be filled in vial as solutions. Now this has some limitations, some drugs particularly biological systems such as protein, liposome system, vaccines which may be damaged by freezing or freeze drying or both. Often the stability of drug in the solid state depend on its physical state like crystal, crystalline or amorphous. If the freeze drying produce amorphous solid, this form is not stable. So the freeze drying will not provide an acceptable product and freeze drying is relatively expensive and increased handling and processing time is there. So these are the limitations of freeze drying. Now coming to the steps of freeze drying or lyophilization. First the sterile solution is filled in the vials and a special slotted stopper is partially inserted into the neck of the vial and tray uh, of filled vials are transferred into the freeze dryer. So this is the that stopper, special stoppers are there. That is the vapor of gap of the stopper we use the series drying. So that is the stopper, then we will stopper this one, then, then we will pos, uh, give position and we will uh, fill in the tray and we will place in freeze dryer. So first step of freeze drying is, uh, sorry, uh, first we will do a pre-freezing. In this solution is frozen by circulation of fluids such as silicon oils at temperature in the range of minus 35 to minus 45 degrees Celsius through the internal channels in the self-assembly. Then we will give in vacuum. When the product has solidified sufficiently, the pressure in the freezing uh, chamber is reduced to a pressure less than the vapor pressure of the ice at the temperature of the product. Now after that, uh, the primary drying, the heat is applied to the product by increasing the temperature of circulating fluid. So ice is removed by direct sublimation through the open channel created by the prior sublimation. As the freezing, uh, freeze drying proceed, a residing boundary can be observed in the vial as the thickness of frozen layer decreases. The final step is 
secondary drying after the primary drying additional drying is necessary to remove any water that didn't freeze during the freeze pro freezing process but instead of remaining associated with the solute uh, this called secondary dry and consist of water and consist of water removal by the diffusion and desorption of the water from the partially dried solid phase by gradual increasing temperature up to 50 degree celsius the extract almost remaining bounded moisture from the product so these are the different steps first we will fill in the vials then a freeze pre-freezing to minus 35 to 45 degree celsius then we will uh, given vacuum vapor pressure or pressure is reduced less than the vapor pressure then we will increase the temperature uh, so that uh, there will be a sublimation either uh, solid in the direct eye to vapor eye to convert in the process then a secondary process further increasing temperature at up to 50 degree celsius so this is the uh, first we will fill in the uh, uh, solution freezing so we will decrease the temperatures to minus 40 45 then primary drying we will increase the temperature as well as we will decrease the uh, pressure also then a secondary dry bounded water is removed here unbounded water will be removed here bounded water will be removed now under this condition water is removed by the sublimation of ice or phase change from solid state directly into the vapor phase without appearance of intermediate liquid phase freeze drying take place below the triple point of water at which solid liquid and vapor all coexist in equilibrium now coming to the next method that is the aseptic crystallization and dry powder filling this is primarily used for the manufacturing of sterile aqueous suspensions in this drug is dissolved in a suitable solvents and sterile filtered through a appropriate member filter and a second solvent uh, a sterility filtered mono solvent of the drug is used then added at a controlled rate using causing crystallization and precipitation of the drug and this crystal can be collected by filtration in a funnel and it is washed if it is necessary and dried by vacuum drying after drying it may be uh, it may be necessary to fill mill or blend the uh, dry crystal the powder is then transferred into the dry powder filling equipment filled in the then fill into the vial what are simple item method on a secondary solvent the number you see non solvent item that is dissolve of the solvent to work in the summit that is what I am going to crystal form team a crystal well the separate and filter that is in a mill is a initiation uh, while cell to fill a in the ladana aseptic crystallization but we have to maintain the aseptic condition okay now uh, there are some limitation for the aseptic crystallization uh, and dry powder filling uh, first one is batch to batch variability in the crystal habit and crystal size which may result in the vari variability in the physical property second one is maintenance of asepsis between the sterile crystallization and filling of the powder is a challenge so uh, there will be a decreasing sterility assurance and also the drug is filled into vial as powder and maintains uh, a maintenance of fill weight uniformity is generally more troublesome than filling with the liquids karnam crystals le chalapo adinde crystal of uh, water angane alla sangadigal okke undavum adinde content uniformity le maatram varanulla chances okay now coming to third method that is the spray drying method in this a solution of drug is sterile filtered and metered into the drying chamber where it passes through a atomizer that create an aerosols of small droplet of the liquid the aerosol come in contact with the stream of hot sterile gas which is usually a sterile hot air and the solvent evaporate quickly and allow the drug to collect as powder in the form of uniform hollow spheres then this powder is filled into the vial using conventional powder filling equipments about this is the um, uh, figure here we will give air inlet we will heat this air and we will give the feed uh, liquid feed now the solution i to prepare the parental solution atomizer why 
ഈ സ്പ്രേ ഡ്രൈയിങ് ചേമ്പറിലോട്ട് കൊടുക്കും അതിൻ്റെ കൂടെ തന്നെ ഡ്രൈ ഹെയറും കൂടി കൊടുക്കും അപ്പോൾ അതിൽ അതിലുള്ള ഇവാപ്പറേഷൻ നടന്ന് സോളിഡ് ആയിട്ടുള്ള ഡ്രൈ പ്രൊഡക്റ്റ് നമുക്ക് എക്സ് സെപ്പറേറ്റ് ചെയ്തെടുക്കാൻ പറ്റും ഓക്കെ സോ ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് എ സ്പ്രേ ഡ്രൈയിങ് മെത്തേഡ്സ് അഡ്വാൻറ്റേജ് ഈസ് മോർ എക്കണോമിക്കൽ ദാൻ ദി ഫ്രീസ് ഡ്രൈങ് ബട്ട് ദർ ആർ സം ചാലഞ്ചസ് ഇറ്റ് റിക്വയർ ഫിൽട്രേഷൻ ഓഫ് വെരി ലാർജ് വോളിയം ഓഫ് സ്റ്റെറൈ ലെയർ ഫോർ സ്പ്രേ ഡ്രൈങ് കൺസ്ട്രക്ഷൻ ആൻഡ് മെയിൻ്റെനൻസ് ഓഫ് സ്പ്രേ ഡ്രൈയർ ദാറ്റ് ക്യാൻ ബി റെഡ്ലി സ്റ്റെറിലൈസ്ഡ് യൂസിങ് ചാലഞ്ച് ഫോർ സ്പ്രേ ഡ്രൈങ് അസെപ്റ്റിക് ട്രാൻസ്ഫർ ഓഫ് പൗഡർ ഫ്രം സ്പ്രേ ഡ്രയർ ടു ദ പൗഡർ ഫില്ലിംഗ് ലൈൻ ആസോ ഈസ് എ ചാലഞ്ച് and precious control of the drying condition to prevent the overheating of the product while providing adequate drying and probably because of this limitation the technique is not widely used so these are the challenges of spray drying now these are some examples of parenteral dry solids there are two type of uh, examples sterile drugs which are prepared and packed without the pharmaceutical additives like buffer preservative stabilizing agents examples are ampicillin sodium ceftriaxone sodium ceftazidim sodium cefuroxim sodium canamycin sulfate nafacillin sodium penicillin g benzathane etc these are the example of sterile solid without pharmaceutical additives now another example uh, sterile drugs which are formulated with the pharmaceutical additives which are intended to be reconstituted prior to the injection include cyclophosphamide dactinomycin erythromycin lactobionate hydrocortisone sodium succinate mitomycin nafcillin penicillin g potassium wimblestin and sulfates these are the example for dry solids which are prepared as parenteral dry solids so that is all about the manufacturing of dry solids which are intended to reconstitute with the water for injection prior to the administration hope it is clear thank you for watching this video